Hey everybody, welcome back to the DevOps Lab. I'm Damien. Today I'm joined by Divya. Divya, what are we talking about? So we're going to talk about how we can improve productivity and collaboration by bringing Microsoft Teams and Azure DevOps together. It's really cool. Don't miss it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the DevOps Lab. I am Damien and I am joined this week by Divya. Divya, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Damien, for inviting. Yeah, no problem. So we are still recording at Microsoft Ignite 2019. We're at the debug bar again, a uh, place where people can go and help us uh, get the experts to help them with their problems and so on. But Divya, you've come across to, to show me some new stuff that's, that's going on inside the Azure DevOps team. You are a PM on one of the more interesting teams, and you're you're dealing with a lot of the stuff to do with chat ops. Yes. Yeah. So, so well, what is chat ops? Let's start there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, chat ops helps uh, bringing your integrations in your in your collaboration tools for software teams to be able to become more interactive, get your real time communication in your collaboration tools. Okay. Because the, like as developers, and I'm a remote worker, like I work from home. So I do all of my collaboration using chat tools and, and things like Teams, where I will collaborate with my, you know, with the rest of my team members and work out what we're doing and so on. But then Azure DevOps is where all my code lives and where all my pipelines live and the work items and all that kind of stuff. So I'm switching tools, right? Is that yeah, the problem and, you see? Yeah, and yeah. this is where most teams are today. Many teams are remote and uh, they use these collaboration tools and specifically Microsoft Teams to uh, get their work done. That is where the collaboration happens. That is, it's a place where ideas get discussed, yeah. insights get generated, and that's where you find product issues and talk about it. And, and then, in many cases, I'm sure it would have happened that you're waiting for somebody to go approve your deployment to an environment, yep. or you're a bottleneck yourself, yep, or yep. emailed people to uh, approve your PRs, or look at your PRs, um, had discussions in your Teams channel, mm -hmm. and then gone back to the boards to go ahead create a work item so that uh, it is on your backlog and somebody is act actually looking at it. Yeah. So that's the key problem that we want to solve. Right. Eliminate this bounce back and forth that you have to do between where you live, which is either your code or in Teams, yeah. and uh, bring those actions directly in your Teams channel. Right. So uh, to solve this problem and improve productivity and collaboration, we've released three apps okay. uh, in Teams for pipelines, for boards, and for repos to uh, help you take actions. Right, so you can, right from inside Teams, you can deal with uh, your, your pipelines, your builds, and your releases. Yes. You can deal with the work that you're doing oh, in yes. boards, and you can deal with actually code, code that you're yes. using as well. So yeah. pull requests and stuff like yes. that. Um, all right, so let's go and have a look at what this looks like inside Teams. Maybe you can show us some of those features. Yeah, let's jump in. So uh, you can acquire all of these apps from uh, Teams App Store and go ahead, uh, say, search for pipelines, repos, and boards, and install that app. Now, across all of these apps, you can then uh, subscribe to and link your projects and pipelines mm -hmm. and uh, use the filtering mechanism to decide what notifications you want to listen to, whether it's work item created, updated. I, as a PM, uh, want to know about features more and bugs more yeah. instead of tasks which my engineering team uh, picks up. Yeah. So uh, you can do all of that filtering and we have that capability for all of these three apps. Right. So if I just go and jump in to see from uh, for both I can actually go and uh, trigger this uh, bot. Uh, it gives me the details of uh, all that that is possible. Uh, like I said, subscriptions, adding an area path, linking a project, and you can go ahead and create a work item directly from here. Right. So it'll tell you what you want to create, whether it's bug or feature or task, and then all the uh, required fields actually show up and you can do it right from here. You don't have to jump back to boards. Right. The feature I love the best here is actually taking a discussion, so we're talking about something here, and then creating a work item right directly. from here. Okay. Uh, what that does is, is actually it goes ahead and creates a work item, um, and I've, I've done that, 
it, it's created this work item. I select it as it as a task, and then actually even creates a link in Microsoft Teams, so puts it here in the discussion board, so that all the context is available for whoever is looking at this task. Right, so you can jump back and forth. There's deep links between the two. Oh of them yes, as well. yeah. Oh, that's handy. Uh, moving to repos and yeah. code, um, again, it, it's a best mechanism for you to be notified when your PR are in action or actually to have that contextual discussion regarding a PR. Yeah. Uh, one of the cool features here is uh, using the messaging extensions to actually look at a repo, uh, sorry, a PR directly from here. So I can actually select a PR and then talk to uh, like my team about this PR and say um, any updates. Uh, they have the context now on what I'm talking about right. and it's, it's much more faster um, in, in this uh, model. Yeah, um, you've really brought that kind of those two tools together, yes, so you're not yes, hunting in yes, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So it's not like I'm 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 hunting and then I have to go there, find the uh, the details, and then bring it here. Mm -hmm. um, and another cool feature is, and this is again across all three apps, is URL unfurling. I know you yeah. know about it, like. Um, SMO, which Twitter and all of these do. Yeah, so when we've there's brought, a link, it shows you information yes, about that, yes. rather than just the, the, uh, the And URL. we've brought that for uh, all the uh, uh, URLs as well. Whether it's pipeline again, it gives you the status, yeah. where it is. Um, uh, for work items, it gives you the assigned and all the required information, right. and even for pull request. Oh, now, such a small thing, but like really It is really useful, important, yeah. yes. Um, and moving to the last one, which is pipelines. Mm -hmm. Now, developers, especially when you're submitting your PR, you are monitoring to find out whether my PR, the, the build is completed, not completed. And for DRIs as well, they spend a lot of time to, to monitor the pipeline. We're bringing that information here as well. So uh, you can, again, configure what information you want to look at. I know most of my DRI teams mainly look at completed. Uh, stages or uh, builds and releases yeah. and uh, or failed ones so that they know when they have to take action. Yeah. Uh, the cool feature I like there is bringing the approvals and rejections directly here. So if you are an approver, you can actually go ahead and approve from your team's channel. I know um, Pipelines doesn't have a great mobile story, but this helps there as well yeah. because from your mobile uh, as well and Teams app there, you can approve a pipeline. So if I go ahead and say trigger a pipeline and show you that in action. So we're describing a pipeline now that's in progress. Yeah. Or so I'm running a new one. Yeah, okay. I can run a new one as well. Or I can show you uh, in progress. So here I've got a notification that this pipeline um, and it is waiting for my approval. Right. So let's go ahead and maybe reject this one. Uh, what you'll see, it will go push that data back to pipelines and you'll be able to, uh, like you'll see that details right here. So, right. so yeah. you can see that rejection happened. Happened. Right. Oh. So um, with all of these features, what it does is it helps improve that productivity as well as bring collaboration between teams, um, between folks in the team, and uh, have contextual conversations. Yeah, definitely. And and from a like out of DevOps perspective, this is one of the things you want to be focusing on the work that you're doing, like the. The valuable work, not jumping around between tools, yes. hunting for the work that you're doing. You want to be productive, productive. as much as yes. possible. Yeah. Yes. This is really cool. And so this is all like free apps that are in Teams. Yes. So if you already have Teams, teams yes. you can use it right now. You can use it them right now. Is there more stuff that you're working on? Oh yeah. So uh, in all of these, and Teams has recently released at mention support. Oh, yeah. So in all of these, we are bringing at mention as well. So if you're a PR reviewer, you'll get an at mention uh, so that your active Activity here will actually also show what you have to go take action on. Oh, so whether it's PR, whether again it's um, work items when it's getting assigned to you, or uh, pipeline approval or rejections, you'll get that mentioned. And again, all of that makes it even more uh, targeted. You know the task that you need to do. Yeah, it highlights that information, the things that you need to do right yeah. now. Yeah. That's really cool. So if you're using Teams and Azure DevOps, 
in any of these aspects, you should definitely grab Go. this one. Yes. And if you're using Slack, because we have these applications on Slack as well and okay. have exact same functionalities, you can use those on Slack as well. Nice. Oh, thank you so much for showing this. This is actually going to really shorten some of those uh, loops, loops, I guess, that, yes. that inner, inner loops that the teams are uh, struggling with a lot of the time as well. Well, thank you very much for coming on, on the DevOps Lab and yeah, hopefully we'll see you again very soon. Yes, right. thank you. Thanks everyone for joining us and we'll see you at another DevOps Lab very soon. Bye. Bye.